So luckily, the weather is finally really nice out today. Hopefully there will be some people on the trail. Uh, some people walking their pups, some bike riders. Hopefully not everybody stuck in traffic or out and about traveling for the holidays. Just gonna get some practice in, redirecting if necessary, and then some recall. Got them on the longer leads, so that way we can kind of get some exercise out and explore. The trail is pretty wide, so long as we stay on the inside. We shouldn't run too much of a risk of running into the street or anything like that. And we'll also be paying close attention and be ready to lock the leash whenever necessary. Really want to do our best to see people and distractions coming ahead of time and redirecting early and then maintaining composure and focus as they pass by. It's gonna be kind of the goal for today's exercise. Oh, good boy. And of course, in the meantime, we'll just be practicing some, some recall. We did some good shorter leash walking practices today in the neighborhood. So I wanted him to be able to kind of stretch his legs out a little bit, get some, uh, <laughs> some longer range practice in if necessary. He's been doing a really good job of just sticking to me though either way. Hopefully with uh, the new smells and everything on the trail here, we'll have an opportunity for him to get a little bit more distracted. Huh? Go ahead and use the beep there. Good boy, very good. And I'll just be running through all the different ways of practicing recall with him like we did at the park earlier. We'll do leash pressure, of course, his name, and then everything on the remotes too. couple games and everything going on over at the farther field. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep walking this way first, not to interrupt anybody. We'll start warming up on the quieter parts of the trail. Hopefully if that's not enough action, then we'll go and try to find busier locations too. So here we go. He's using the leash as a boundary. Luckily with this trail, it's really easy to see if anybody's coming from in front or behind us. Good boy. Just paying attention to leash pressure there. Good job. Try to do a little bit of practice with the remote the next time he gets a little too far out. Good boy. I think I think should still unlock. There we go. Come. Good boy. See that he he felt it there and then just needed a little bit of help with the recall. We'll try again. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. There we go. I'm trying to get everything in the shot is difficult sometimes. Especially when I'm trying to also make sure we have the button ready to Lock it in case we need to.
So now that he's starting to pull. Yes, good boy. Good job. Good boy. There's another situation here because we're in a pretty busy area by the road. Hard for him here when I would call his name too. So that's another reason why sometimes having something like a collar that's really right on him or next to him can really help get his attention. We've got a jogger coming from the distance there. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready with him over here. Hudson. Good boy. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the, the leash here. And try to keep his attention. And try to give him a little bit of space. There we go. Alright. Good boy, come. So I want him to see the runner coming, right? <laughs> He's very easily distracted. He doesn't like to sit still still. But we have the runner there coming up our way. So nice and loose, good boy. Yeah. They're gonna pass us without him even noticing. There we go. Good boy. Stay. Yes, good job. Very good. All right. All right, now we'll go back on, uh, on our walk here. We'll go ahead and unlock him. That was good. And you can see <laughs> he's a little bit more excited now trying to follow them. So we'll see if he responds to the leash pressure or needs some recall practice with the remote. Oh, he did it on his own. Good boy. Did it on his own. Good boy. Now, um, next time he goes out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, either vibrate or static, and then use his name and turn around. Give it a little extra impact. See if he needs to mark or pee or anything here first. Got the lady coming back around, so be ready to redirect him if necessary. Hudson, come. Good boy. Go ahead and lock. Very good. That's a guy. All right, and then we'll go ahead and unlock. So the reason why we lock is just for extra safety. So we don't startle somebody if he does suddenly move or lunge towards them because they're moving quickly and close to them, right? But I'm also doing my best to see if he's controlling himself or if he actually needs some help or not. Oh, there we go. So he did that on his own as well. Boy. All right. Now we'll go back up this way. When he gets too far, I'll, oh, okay, good boy. <laughs> go ahead and use an app. There we go, good boy. Now, it's really hard to tell there if he was responding to the leash pressure or the static. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust the level again. See if that gets his attention. That's in. There it is, good boy. Good job. All right, now we have some cyclists coming in. So we'll definitely kind of get them off to the side here, Hudson. We'll lock up. It's another thing there too, because we don't want him to, to scare them off the bicycles or anything. So we'll go ahead and lock the leash. It's still nice and loose, right? We want him to control himself as much as possible. 
way. Hi. Good boy, good way. Yes. Hi. Good boy. So there, he didn't need the remote or anything. He just waited all on his own as the the bicyclists were passing by. The leaves was still nice and loose. Go ahead and unlock that now. Give him a little bit of a break here. Kind of smell and explore things. Got a little bit of a, a lull in the action with nobody coming by on the trails or anything. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Getting a little off further away to the side there, so I just used the, the beep function there to get his attention. He came back in on his own, which is really good. Doing a good job of walking with me. Oh, good boy. Got another runner coming up from behind us. I'll pull him over here to the side in a little bit. That worked too. See if you. Good boy. Is that, the, is that the end of the leaves? Good boy. The runner's coming back around here. So try to get his attention. So as soon as he starts to pull through it, we might need to give him a correction. Oh, no, he's good. Oh. <laughs> he's got something over there that's interesting to him. He's going to miss the runner behind us. Yep. You see something that way. I don't see anything. But we might go over there just because there seems to be some more people. So if he keeps trying to pull through the next time that he does, I'll recall him back here. Hudson, come. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. What's over there, huh, bud? What's over there? <laughs> I don't want him to get on the field. Um, it's usually better to keep the pups off the field for those that are trying to play on it. Good boy. So we'll try to go around, see if we can find what's, what's interesting him so much. Maybe there's something even in the, the woodland areas there. It's not pulling this time. So if he hits the end of the lead, I'll go ahead and buzz him back in. Good boy. Yes, good job. That was just on the vibrate. Boy. <laughs> go ahead and try to get him. And it happens. That's the thing, even though we don't see anything that's very interesting, doesn't mean that he sees something or that he doesn't see anything or smell something that's interesting to him. But it's important to kind of pay close attention while you're out with him. Uh, no one behind us, no one in front of us.
doing a good job just staying on the trail with me. <laughs> just broke off again. We'll see if he comes with me this time when I'm just walking. Here, just use leash pressure. Good boy. Now this time, we don't want him to get wrapped around the light pole here. So I'm gonna, oh, almost, almost. So trying to get him to come back around the other side, but that's okay. Looks a little bit too late. One of those things that you said easier if you had more hands to work with. Good boy, good wait. Just waiting on his own there. Good boy. A lot of traffic noise. He's doing well though. Give him some time to use his nose. Good boy. Come. Use the leash pressure here. Yes. Good boy. Make sure that it takes the ball. Alright, come on, big guy. Good boy. Hopefully, the sound of the traffic isn't too bad. Got a field here where people are playing. That could be a good distraction. Good boy. He just did that on his own. Got the guy. Getting a little ahead. I was oh, never mind. I was gonna say I'll practice the uh, the beep, but he just redirected on his own. Good boy. Got another runner coming up behind us. This time we're gonna stay on the trail with him facing away, and I'll just be ready to redirect and lock the lead if necessary. Actually, I'll just pre-lock the leash but I'll be ready to redirect if necessary. Just to see how he reacts when um, somebody suddenly comes up from behind, maybe startles him, or he doesn't have as much prep time. He's closing in behind the scenes. Trying to just walk with him forward. Okay, so I hear the first thing, he doesn't seem to be paying attention. Very good. So that was good. He was still on a smell, but he definitely saw the person, looked, remained composed, and then went back on, on his smell. So that was really good. Just had somebody here that doesn't, didn't pick up after their pup. Once again, it's always a good idea to make sure you have plenty of bags on you. About to get pretty far out. Good boy. You can tell he's a little distracted by the kids playing there. And him hitting the end of the line helps him as well. He's already starting to slow down because of the uh, the beat. But it's ultimately there the the loose pressure that helps him. Here. Go ahead and go down this way of the field. That way we're not in the way of them playing. Um, there are some observing spots on the side there. I think we can actually see them closer from here. 
what we'll try to do is once he gets distracted by them, we'll use his name, Hudson. Oh, good boy. Good job, big guy. Good listen. Let him get distracted again. Let him hang out for a bit. And try not to use these pressure, so we're going to try to find a good line here. That's pretty good. He's pretty much right at the gate. Uh, I see that. Good boy. Coming back. Some leash pressure on that one. Good boy. Then the next time we'll use the different functions of the remote. Start off with the beat. Good boy. Very good. Oh, we dropped the remote again. Good boy. All right, we'll let him get distracted again. Then we'll do the vibration next. <laughs> Didn't do anything yet. Good boy. <laughs> He's just sticking to me. Gotta hold it out. Might be done with the the kids playing as a distraction. He's just uh hanging out with me right now. Oh there we go. There we go, good. Okay. And now we'll use the vibration. Good boy, good job. You see that that really gets his attention. And then the last one will be the static. <laughs> if he decides to go back out there, there we go. Okay. Let him hang out for a bit. <laughs> good boy, didn't touch anything yet. We'll still give him a reward for coming back in on his own though. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Good job, big guy. All right. Go ahead and cut the video here so it's not too long. Hopefully, we can get it out for his parents by tonight, if not early in the morning. And we'll do a couple more rounds of practice here before the sun goes down. Unfortunately, it goes down very soon nowadays, but hopefully, it'll get a little bit busier on the trail. People get home from uh, from work, sitting in traffic for a while. He did really good though. Try one more time with just his uh, his name, Hudson. Oh, good boy. Good job, big guy. Good job. Ready? Sit. Decided to start recording because we have a family coming up or I guess uh, bicycles as well as a pup. Hudson. Come. Good boy. Got a, a smell over there. Good boy. In the woods. Good boy. See it. Good boy. We'll see how he does here with the pups coming in. I'd prefer that he gets to see them before they get too much closer and we can work on redirecting early. There we go. <laughs> and that's good because they're barking too. So we'll be ready to redirect him if necessary, but it's nice and loose still. Boy, stay. Good boy, good stay. You're all tangled up, but that's worse. <laughs> Hi. Good boy, good stay. Oh, I know it's hard. Good job. <laughs> oh. You did a good job there. I didn't have to use anything. <laughs> oh, I know. Come here, let me untangle you. Hudson. Good boy. All right. Wanted to get that extra little bit in. Good boy. <laughs>